Today is Thursday, August 9, 2018. This is a Beacon Ipets Veterinary Educational Video. We will be demonstrating on how to use rabbit and rodent dental instruments. Okay, in this uh, bag, there, there is a list of instruments, especially for the rabbit or rodent dentistry. So, we will show the list and then we read through the list. Okay, number one. Number one, incisor laxator. Number two, tongue and pouch is spatula. Number three, molar extraction forceps. Number four, molar laxator. Number five is an instrument which will be used also for filing the teeth. But it's not included in the uh, set. Number six, number six, mouth gag. Number seven, cheek dilator. Number eight, molar cutters. Number nine, wire mouth gag. Number ten is a cheek dilator, but it's smaller. Extra small, okay. Okay, now we open up. X-ray. To show the use, yeah. Of each individual, yeah, for the other bit, yeah. each so individual. individual demonstration. This is the incisor laxator, which we will be loosening the ligament in between the tooth and the gums. So we need to insert this and try yeah, for the upper incisor. This one, yeah, okay. Up to the root to loosen the ligament between the gum and the tooth. Okay. And the other side? Uh, this is the lower the incisor. Uh, you can see that it, it curves now. And it goes in to extra extraction of the lower tooth. Okay. So that is number one. Number two? Number two is a spatula to press down the tongue if needed or press the cheek on the side if needed. Mm. To open up. Uh, number three? Number three is the uh, tooth extractor. Which means after using yeah, put down it, first, yeah. or if the tooth is loose, then you just need to hold it by the forceps, try to loosen some more, and then can extract right. out. Number four is the molar laxator, two sided meaning go into the goes inside the mouth and tries to loosen the ligament of the molar between, or uh, between the teeth between the gums and the teeth alright the ligament there attached okay so one is the lower one one is the upper one uh, okay the next one number five if let's say we don't need to extract but there's a molar spar sharp, sharp edges yeah. sharp edges so we just use the pile, file to file it down the sharp area. Far away the sharp ends, yeah, okay. Number six is a mouth gag, which is to open the mouth widely. So you, this one will be uh, from lower to upper. Insert the Insert the incisor into the holes and then just adjust. Mm -hmm. Then when it's open, you will be using the cheek dilator side by side to open it widely. Side by side, okay. Yeah, so this will do like this. Finish. Then the last one would be the molar cutters for uh, molar spurs. So this one. The sharp ends are of the molar. Yeah, sharp ends. So this one is to cut. The edges, if the molars are sharp, sharp, or overgrown. There are different sizes, yeah. So, so this one is an example. Two of sizes, right? Mouth gap is a wire mouth gap. Okay, the big, extra small and small. Okay. All, all done, then we will take the rabbit out and uh, demonstrate. Keep first, keep the uh, take away the set.
No, we need a. Okay, we we'll, we'll demonstrate on this rabbit. First of all, the gag and the mouth gag. How it's being used. Go that side. Cheek dilators open the cheek sideways. Okay. The other one, what's the second one? It's a mouth gag. Mouth gag is to open up to expose the as wide as possible that the, the rapid is sedated and we can see the molars or not? Is, is it the biggest? Then you can use the Forge spatula. Light. No, wait, the wait, wait, the torchlight will shine in first. I'll shine the light here. Light, light, we need to see. Wait, let me, don't block my view, yeah. Light can go in. Ah, okay, the light goes in, go further in. You can see, can we see the cheek teeth? The tongue. With the tongue spatula, I'll just depress it to show the cheek teeth. But this is the demonstration, the rabbit, there's nothing to be done. Okay, there's nothing to be done, rabbit. Okay, finish. Okay, then now we just demonstrate the laxator and all this. And just demonstrate, and we are not we are not doing it, okay. Uh, that's how you loosen, loosen the ligament between the tooth and the gums for those Decay tooth. This one is just a demonstration. There's nothing to be done. This upper one, and that is the lower one. Yeah, there you can see how it is being used, but we are not using it. Huh? Okay, down. Okay, this is the what you call this two? Incisor laxator. Okay. Now this the second one, one. The molar laxator. Molar laxator is good in. Open the cheek pouch wider. But the touch light go, go in, go in, the light is in closer, closer. You can't really see it. Where's the molar? Can we see the molar at all? Uh, there's some molar there, I can see. Okay, this is a normal tooth, it's not sharp. Open a bit bigger to see the molar. You can see the molar on the left, on the right side of the cheek. No, just now was okay. Uh, uh, there. Let me just focus on it. Okay, so what do you use this one for? To loosen the ligament between backward, the teeth and the gums also. Mm, okay, show the instrument. Okay, it's the same thing as the incisor one. Just to loosen the ligament so that you can pull out the tooth. The ligament at attaches the tooth to the gum. Eh? Okay, now you want to see the molars. You got to angle your light onto it because you, you don't angle it. Actually, I can't see anything. You got to figure out how to angle it. Eh? Ah, now it's much better. Okay, can you see any molars around? Yes. Okay, let's show show the. Okay, what the next one? The next one is to file the mm. sharp edges. Okay, let's show one molar. We can't see any molar actually. Ah, got got uh, this side. This is a tongue depressor. Ah, okay. So normally you just file it up, especially if there's molar spurs, huh? Just file, this is a filing. Okay, the next one. Just show the file onto here first. So you can see how the file looks like. There, put on the table, put on the board there. The file has con. con uh, let me show. Turn a bit towards me, the camera. No, the turn. Ah, that, that's a file, filing one. Okay, the next one. So after loosening, or if there is a loose, loose tape, tooth, <coughs> then you will use the tooth extract for. Mm. So just after loosening it with the uh, with the laxator, go for the back a bit. I can't focus. Then back a bit, back, 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 back. Uh, then just pull out the loose tooth. Okay, this is a demonstration on it. All the teeth are in good condition in this rabbit. Okay, that's it. Any more? The last one. Last one is the molar cutters. Ah, uh, okay. So. So some molars they have sharp spurs, uh, but this one doesn't have. So uh, now you can see the molar there. There actually the molar is there. Okay. So 
this is a good cutter to cut the tip of the spurs, huh? so that it's, it's not so sharp because the sharp spurs, molar spurs cut the tongue or cut the cheek so the rabbit cannot eat. Okay, show the molar spurs on the, on the table. The molar, uh, what do you call it, cutter? cutter. Right? Uh, it's, it just looks like more like a wire cutter. So all these are instruments for the rabbit. Uh, and that's how you open the mouth to do it because without this this mouth gag is very difficult to, to do the dentistry. Okay, show the mouth gag again onto the table, yeah. Right. Put put it side by side. So one is to open the mouth sideways. Okay, there are two, one is extra small, is it? Cheek uh, dilator. Cheek dilator. One is okay. extra small. Mm. Um, one is small, yeah, okay. Just put down there, we'll do, yeah. And then the next one will be? Mouth gap. Mm. Open the, the, the Up and down, yeah. Up, upwards and down, okay. Then the other two, yeah? The, the wire mouth gap. Uh, this one is this uh, Instead of, yeah, instead of using the, that one, use this one. Some bigger rabbits, yeah. Uh. Any more? No more, right? So, in, in conclusion, these are the instruments you need to to uh, open the rabbit's mouth, otherwise you can't really do any dentistry. Okay, now we go back to the... What's the first one? We keep the one first. We show the first one. The This is for the upper front teeth. Huh? It's called the what? Incisor luxator. Okay, uh, so it's for the front teeth. Incisor is the front teeth. There are six front teeth. So you just go in and, and uh, break down the, the ligament between the gum and the and the root so that the two can be loosened and then you just pull it out with the other one where is it the, the, the one to grip the uh, the show there so this instrument will be used to grip the loosened tooth it could be a molar it could be a uh, front teeth the incisor so you just uh, go in and grip, uh, grip it uh, upper one upwards will be for upper tooth downwards will be for the lower tooth you can turn it downwards and, and, and it will you know, the, the extractor the downwards will be for uh, the, to extract the, the lower one. Then upwards will be extract the upper upper one. Uh. Okay, then any more? Then the next one. The tongue. This is to depress the tongue, right? What's the name of it? Tongue and pouch spatula. No, no, this one is not. Yeah. It's a spatula. Okay, go for the bit. Okay, then the next one. You just summarize it. Okay, what is this one? Molar luxator. Uh, this is for the back teeth, the cheek teeth. Uh, because you see the angle, especially made for this rabbit and rodent. So this is for the upper one. They can see upwards. Uh, where's your x-ray? Upper one. And then uh, this one is for the lower, lower molar. And then it goes in and breaks down the ligaments between the gum and the root. Okay, we will demonstrate again one more time. Uh, you see the lower one, it goes in. The ligament anchors the tooth, the root to the gum. So if we break it down, then we can loosen the tooth and extract it out. Otherwise, on in a normal tooth, we can't do it because the the ligaments are very strong and solid. Uh, this is for the upper one, upper cheek tooth. So in between the gum and the root, so go under the gum and then you loosen the ligament, which are uh, which. Uh, binds the two together so that the tooth is quite solid. This is a normal rabbit's teeth. So you can see that they are really, there's no hole. Okay, we show another, the rotten one, the decay one. There's another rabbit x-ray and you can see that uh, how it's, it can be used. Just down the, uh, let's show one, okay. Okay, this is how it will be used. You see the tooth is quite loose. Okay, show your molar one, which one? Don't block my uh, the lights, the lights, the lights. Uh, okay, up a bit. Okay, come. Uh, so you can see which is the loose one, cheek tooth number two. Uh. So it goes in. in. In this case, it's from below the root. Goes in there and loosen the ligament. The ligament is already loose already because this is already rotten tooth. Uh. And then after that, extractor goes in and pull it out there. Uh, pull it out. Just put it up, uh, downwards. Uh. No, upwards, upwards normally, unless we do both sides. Uh. If you do one side, you pull from below. Then okay, upwards, then where's the other one? Where's the other equipment to use? Upwards, uh. 
go and loosen the the mola. Uh, that uh, you see, so go go in both sides, the front and the back of the mola. So so we can loosen the ligament. So once it's loosened and the lower one is loosened, so either you pull it from below. In this case, because there is an infection of the root, uh, so this is the one to pull out. Hmm? Okay. Okay, now we show the, the molar spur cutter, or what you call that. Let's say there's a spur on, the, on top of the molar. Okay, you show this instrument to cut. Or you just show, let's say, the cheek tool number three. Cheek tool number three, uh, uh, especially if it's sharp, you can cut. Nah? Cut to make it uh, horizontal again. Otherwise, the sharp ends will cut the tongue and the cheeks. Yeah. Then what's the other one? What are you showing now? The filing. Filing, okay, filing. And then after cutting, you file it back to the horizontal so that the, they can, the upper and lower cheek teeth can grind, can grind the foot, the hair. Otherwise, if it's sharp, it cuts into the cheek and uh, it's very painful for the rabbit. This, this is an uh, x-ray of a rabbit with rotten teeth, as you can see. Uh, cheek teeth, normally there are six on top, but there's only three. Three, four, five, six, there are four. And then below, should be five. Uh, five cheek teeth, how many are there? Two, three, four, five. So that means, go and then the abscess. You see the abscess there? The arrow shows the abscesses there. Uh, because of the rotten roots, the, the pus and bacteria forms below the chin. You see the rabbit, is there a photo of the rabbit? Actually, the swollen the swollen uh, cheek, it is there. Actually, it's, it's all in the web page. You don't need to go and do it. Uh, you see the rabbit itself. Uh, this is the rabbit itself. Uh, you can see the abscess. Uh, just point. Um, just point there. Uh, take the pointer uh, from one end to the uh, This is the left cheek abscess, which you saw the x ray just now. Um, this is the abnormal. abnormal uh, it's a jaw abscess, huh? it's abnormal. Okay, we finish this and then we show the normal normal rabbit here there. There's no jaw abscess. You can see. There's nothing. Take the pointer and point. There's no swelling huh? on the left side or on the right side. And you can see the teeth, no mild occlusion or so. The teeth, the front teeth, they are really very uh, even, huh? there's, there's no molar spur, no, 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 no spurs, incisor spurs, there's no sharp ends, huh? not overgrown. So this is a normal teeth and the bite is called, the front teeth should be slightly in front of the, of the lower teeth, I mean the upper teeth. Huh? So the bite is correct. Do you see, show, show the side view. Then you see that uh, this is a normal rabbit. Okay, the front teeth is a bit, a bit in front of the lower teeth, the front teeth. Huh? This is normal bite. I think the human also the same. I, I won't know about people. But if, the, if one of them is longer the jaw, then it becomes difficult for the teeth to wear. Uh, what you call that? The upper jaw or lower jaw? Longer. They, they, they call the what? Underbite. Uh, which is underbite? The lower jaw is shorter, is it? Uh, longer. Hmm? So anyway, there are two conditions. Uh. One, the lower jaw is longer. And then underbite. overbite, is it? Underbite. underbite. Then the lower jaw is shorter than the upper jaw? Overbite. Okay, so we conclude this uh, educational video. Today is August 9, 2018. What time now? 12. Okay.